and 583 people died in California alone. Those numbers you just mentioned can never become normal. Told that here in LA County, someone was dying with COVID every 15 minutes. Now we're being told it's once every eight minutes. If you can spare a doctor or a nurse, if you can spare anything, please send it here. The situation looks increasingly dire. The hospital system is bent about as far as it can bend. The next sound may be a snap. Welcome to my day off. I get one day off in a giant string of days on. And we're gonna spend it catching up on all the basic human activities. And my God, I basically look like death right now. I need a haircut. I need to go get a bunch of basic stuff done, dishes, laundry. That's what we're gonna work on. So I've been working on a video showing you guys how I put together this home gym. And finally the last thing came. I actually had finished the video because I thought I was gonna post it a while ago, but was waiting for this thing to come in, which is a weight holder. So I don't have to have my plates lying around everywhere. Um, so we're gonna build that. That's one of the first things. What I'm gonna be doing this morning is getting in a good workout here. Uh, I'm gonna go for a run, probably hit some weights, and then get meal prepping because I've been having some real difficulty, real difficulty eating properly during this rotation. I've been eating like crap. I've been feeling like crap. I'm only a week in, I've gained multiple pounds. It's been a struggle. This rotation particularly has been a struggle, not only just like physically with working out and eating right, really just mentally. A lot of sick individuals, COVID is still taking over. I will say the numbers are looking a little better, but it's still just all COVID. All my patients are COVID, they're in really bad shape. By the time I inherit them, there's not much I can even do for them. So uh, just, it's been a struggle. It's definitely been a struggle and I'll talk a little bit more about it as the vlog goes on. But for now, just wanna shout out the merch as well. The merch is out. Make sure you get your merch, remind yourself to level up. Really appreciate all of you guys that have gone over there, checked it out, made your purchases to support us. Appreciate it. And now that the house is more set up, I might have to do an updated house tour. That sofa just came the other day. I took a little time, <laughs> good chunk of my salary of that month to put together the gym, but it was well worth it. I know quarantine kind of went two ways for people. Either you got really into shape with all that time or gyms closed and you got lazy and you just kind of declined. And that's unfortunately the boat that I went into. More so residency starting kind of accelerated that process on uh, just not being able to find time to be in shape. But that's why I got this gym that I'm even on the Mickey rotation on my one day off, I can get in a workout. I'd be lying to you guys if I told you I've been working out every day for the past week, ever since Mickey started, this is my first workout and it shows I'm totally exhausted. So I'm gonna go ahead and shave up a little bit cause uh, you gotta make sure you have that good N95 fit. And then we're gonna put together some food, meal prep for the rest of the week. I have not been meal prepping, I've been eating my diet has consisted of Taco Bell, McDonald's, all this other garbage. And I'm also trying to go down the vegetarian route. So there's very limited options at these places, especially for fast food. So it's been very difficult. The food situation has been very difficult. So that's why I decided I'm gonna meal prep today, get it ready for this week until my next day off. And I do have a little bit of help with that. And I'll show you guys exactly what I mean after I go shower. So we're back and with waking up at 12 o'clock, the day has already gone to a really late start. I haven't eaten yet, it's two o'clock and it's time to meal prep. If you guys have been following Core Beauty, you guys know we're a fan of HelloFresh. Some of the stuff I've never had before ends up being really, really delicious. One of the main things being, I don't have time or energy on my one day off of the ICU to go ahead and go to the grocery store and pick up groceries. So this is a very easy and convenient way for the groceries to come to me so that I can make a home cooked meal rather than going out and eating out and picking up something uh, gross again, even on my day off. Everything is pre-portioned, packaged nicely. All you have to do is get the ingredients, follow the instructions, and you have yourself some meal. It's super convenient, especially for someone like myself who has a different rotation every month. You can actually pause it so then the meals don't come in for a certain week. And when you resume it, like I am now in ICU month, or when I need it every single week, you can go ahead and start it up. So super flexible. Every time we do a sponsorship, we wanna make sure we believe in the company. HelloFresh has given over 4 million meals 
meals out to charity and continue to do so during the COVID crisis. So needless to say, we're a fan. Right now you can go to hellofresh.com and use code MEDBROS10 to get your first 10 meals for free with free shipping. Nothing to lose guys, go check it out. So we're gonna be making the Greek goddess vulgar bowl. No time, we're ready to eat. So make sure you guys go to hellofresh.com, Medros 10, get your first 10 meals free with free shipping. I am about to chow down on this and watch some Attack on Titan. <laughs> Ooh. So guys, as we're winding down to go to bed and I'll bring you guys along tomorrow when we head over to the MICU, usually head to bed around 9, 10 o'clock, wake up at 4 a.m every single day you show up you have a list of patients you go through their data you get sign up from what happened to them last night you go see them yourselves you come up with a plan you write your note in the icu specifically we get our notes done before actual rounds where an attending doctor comes and you round with them so notes all have to be in in the morning uh everything before eight and then eight o'clock rounds start rounds last it's super attending dependent you can get done with rounds in two hours or it can take you all the way till um the evening so that's very variable Good morning. Don't you love it when you don't know whether it's morning or night and there's nobody out in the streets and you don't even need to wait for the light to cross because there's literally no cars. Such a great feeling to be up this early. I'm exhilarated. I'm excited for another day of COVID, ventilator management, people requiring pressers and fluids. So excited. This place is usually packed, but at 4.30 a.m., absolutely no one. This is how we like it. Hey, this is Dr. Thank you, Tim Black. We, uh, yeah, I heard you're trying to get a hold of me for... Oh, patient's going to ACE sleep right now? Okay, here, I'm gonna head up. Okay. That patient from earlier that went into ACE sleep unfortunately did not make it. Thought we'd come outside and get a little bit of lunch. So apparently one of my patients was told, oh my God, I look like a mess. Apparently one of my patients was told that, uh, one of the patient's families was told that the patient had fixed dilated pupils, which is a very bad sign, but turns out that ophthalmology just came by and dilated their pupils. Duh.
You know, for being doctors, we eat a whole lot of unhealthy food. Every time we have a lunch break or something, it's always pizza or donuts. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. <laughs> really sad that all I have time for is to go home, eat, and immediately just go to sleep and then come back. So medicine is really rewarding, but at the same time in, in the ICU especially, a lot of people are just coming in here. Really nothing we can even do for them. They're just dying and then heading back out. So it can get depressing. These hours are really bad. Just the overall situation. I am going to conclude this vlog and go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me suffer through the ICU. I still have quite a bit of days left here on this service. And then I head over to Nef neurology i think neurology is next so make sure you hit subscribe down below hit the notification bell please if you guys have not because there's a huge chance you're missing out on our videos because you're not hitting the notification bell because youtube sucks and has made the notification bell the new subscription we can see that barely a fraction of our uh, subscribers are even getting our notification so make sure you're hitting the notification bell so you stay up to date with our videos we also just released merch really appreciate every single one of you that bought the merch really means a lot to us i have a step two ultimate guy video that was already queued up ready to go there's just a little addition that had to be done so it got a little delayed but expect that very very soon and with that guys thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go to bed see ya